but it's but it doesn't make sense because it's it's like Arrowhead, and if you're not the owner, then you can't go to the lake. So I don't know why why she wants to go there. You know, doesn't. Teddy bear. Should we exchange it for Yesterday was a uh, little bit of maintenance on the cat, got the air conditioner working. And today is going to be truck maintenance day. So we're going to do oil change, fuel filter change, vacuum wash, all these good things I've been putting off for a while. Got the auxiliary fuel tank in, did that. Oh, uh, probably three, four months ago. It's been working really well. We just had some Airbnb guests leave, so I'll be going to check that out today. But really just getting back to normal for me, um, trying to anyways, it's been a couple of weeks since I've been out. Um, got in a little car accident, that was interesting, uh, pretty scary actually. I was just ran off the road. Luckily, I was only going about mm, 30 or 40 miles an hour when a, uh, a car pulled right out in the road here. It's over, the car's over there talking to that camera. And uh, tried to make a U-turn, basically right here down into this road. Ended up in those bushes. And, uh, I thought, I could have sworn I took him out, but um, I just took out this uh, telephone communications port here. Look at that. This is why you get a gooseneck. Look at this articulation. It's crazy, right? And so, I uh, ended up with a, a, a basically some pretty bad whiplash or a concussion from the whole ordeal. So, you know, all these projects have been sitting here pretty much unattended to. But, so we got the rock wall still needs that last layer. We filled in this door yesterday, JJ and I. Uh, it's not not finished yet, but uh, you know it's it's uh, Wonder Valley ready at this point. Yeah, like I said, yesterday 
I worked on the skid steer. Um, this was really in, in bad shape as far as I was concerned after the last job. Um, that pin broke off in there, uh, which, which was fine. Um, the belts were squealing. The air conditioner wasn't working. Um, I was going to have to bring it down to the cat dealership, but uh, I was able to get... I, I, I took this guy off. Cleaned all the belts. This is the air air uh, air conditioning compressor. This is the condenser. Uh, you know, totally cleaned all this stuff off. Um, check the fuel. Uh, check check the uh, air conditioner uh, coolant level. So, you know, basically, when I was operating this thing, the door was open. So this bolt, you probably can't see that in there, but it is almost sheared off. It's been bent so bad. So even if I could bend it back, I don't think that's coming off. So I'm going to have to bring this home and throw the torch on it to get it off of there. <clears throat> Man, I'm not going to be surprised if that just totally pops off that bolt splits in half so it was held basically by that pin and a little ratchet strap so this area was open um, the air conditioner doesn't work with this door open so if you're having problems with this thing with your air conditioner in your skid steer keep the door closed uh, very important for your air conditioner to work properly Air needs to go through this, pulled up, and, you know, make it out into the atmosphere uh, because if no airflow is moving through here, um, the compressor right here will just cycle. It'll kick on for about 9-10 seconds. And then it'll turn off for 15 seconds. The system will build pressure again, and then it'll turn on. So it'll keep doing that. Um, and like I said, your air your, your air conditioner is not going to work. So you know, basically, you got to make sure that this belt is actually turning the, the compressor. So that's kind of a, a big thing. You got to make sure this door is closed. You got to make sure this condenser is uh, clean. So not not full of dust. You have to uh, make sure that this air filter here is not clogged. And then, you know, the Freon level, you can just check under the cap here. And you can just go to Auto Parts Store for, for a can of that. That's pretty easy. So now this thing's blowing ice cold air. Ice cold air. This light is always on. Anyways, this air is pretty cold right now, which is a good thing, for sure, it's cold air. So, um, good on that. Just need to uh, grease it at some point. So it's truck, truck maintenance day. That's what's going on. Um, Airbnb guests are gone, and uh, I can get started on this guy. So for tools here, I got a 5 8 socket wrench, and uh, I picked up a new um, engine oil catch.
right, it's out. All right, so now that this oil's all drained out, it's time to clean this area a little bit. Throw this bolt back in. It's snug. Now the next thing that's coming out is this oil filter has got to come out. All right, so I'm gonna put uh, some engine oil in this before I get going here, because um, this is a big filter, and uh, then I can wet this little gasket around here as well, and go throw it in the truck. See if I can get this in here without spilling any. All right, well, there is where the fuel filter is going to go. I don't need to do anything with that to get that ready. And we got the oil filter ready to go. Cool. You can move this out of the way now. and tighten this filter and then uh, put some new oil in it. I'll just clean this part down here as well so I can make sure I can spot leaks if there are any. Pop the old hood. Looks like we got engine oil right there. You know what I don't see in here? I don't see any rat poop, which is good. So, ten W thirty. Okay, you guys, I had to just go back to the auto parts store to get the right motor oil. So when I went to AutoZone, you know, he asked me what year the truck was, diesel, all that. And uh, so, you know, I should have read the manual a little bit closer anyways, but in any case, manual said 10W30. He was saying 10W30. Didn't really have any... Uh, didn't pay, t pay any attention to this little API designation. If you see on the cap here, it says 10W30 API CJ4. So to be honest with you, I decided to phone a friend, called my uncle again, and just asked him. Um, like I said, long story short here is that this motor oil here, 10W30, is for an engine, uh, a gasoline engine. It says on here for gasoline engines. And this 10W30 is for diesel engines. Diesel. So, man, um, I feel like an idiot, but, you know, I just got to keep, keep, 
keep keeping on here. I am going to take the filter uh, out, out of the engine here because I did dump some of this 10W30 in there. So I'm going to unscrew that, dump the oil out into the scrap, and just screw it back on. Uh, then I'll go ahead and fill it up with the right oil here. So I just ran the engine for about five minutes. I'm gonna check the oil level. Looks good. Okay, well, I'm still at it. Oil change is done. I still have to reset the computer. But uh, the next thing is this fuel filter. So I'm draining the fuel out of that fuel filter right now. We have a new fuel filter in here. There's actually two fuel filters. This one is, uh, the fuel, this is the filter I'm draining right now. And there's also an engine fuel filter that goes on the engine. So once that gets done draining, I'll swap that bad boy out and then uh, get to the one in the engine compartment. So this is the fuel filter, which I uh, believe this is the water fuel water separator. So I just have to disconnect this. The fuel's drained. And uh, take these eight, eight millimeter bolts off and this will come down This fuel filter looks uh, pretty clean, to be honest with you. So, I have a new gasket here running around the uh, fuel water separator slash filter, the new one. Look at the old one. The old one actually is pretty clean. The new one, uh, they, they look almost like the same color. So, the truck has 22,000 miles on it right now. You're supposed to do this every 20,000 miles. Um, you know, I think, uh, and I was really concerned about it because it's so, you know, dirty out here and I'm not all that careful with my fuel. So, um, in any event, uh, I'm glad that this looks so clean and now I'm going to go ahead and prime it. So we'll throw it back in there and, uh, uh, turn the fuel pump on. All right. Well, I just cycled this, uh, truck on and off about six or seven times to let, to let this, uh, fuel filter fill up with fuel. So now when I turn the truck on, I don't hear any more air bubbles or anything like that in the uh, fuel filter. So now I'm gonna go for the engine fuel filter. All right, so I'm gonna take this fuel filter off. I got a little rag here to catch some fuel, excess fuel. So there's a little couple little hooks in here you gotta press together, push down. There's one. I think this is the same thing here. Two little blue clips you gotta push through the other end. <clears throat> Two. And the last one, pull up. My last one doesn't want to come off.
Boy, these are a real pain in the butt. If you don't know what you're doing. That's a new filter. What's going on here? That thing is not budging. Dang, this clip just has to be different than the rest. Oh wow, there's like clips on the inside too. That's not good. All right, so here's the deal. This thing, um, I just uh, pulled this connector, this fuel return line connector right off of here because, yep, that's how I roll. Um, anyways, that's a big pain in the butt because I have to order this piece, um, this new connector. But uh, I'm just gonna try to keep this clean and uh, you know, you gotta live and then you gotta learn. All right, well. I'm gonna call this weekend a success. We're starting starting the week off with a a bricked truck. But it's alright though. Just have to check back on that later. Like everything else. Let's see how this Airbnb is doing. How's it going? I don't know. These uh Airbnbers really work to tell. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> how do you take this out? We need to put it back in. Can you work on this? I mean, I might break it. I'm on a roll today of breaking things. Well, it's already broken, so... Okay, I'll, I'll try. Okay, Gracie, I fixed it. I redeemed myself. Bam! Woo! I still work. <laughs> you want to do, uh... Bed? How's it looking? All right, well, I still feel just terrible about pulling that fuel hose off there. Damn it. I'm not a, I'm not a mechanic, man. Oh well, I'm gonna go find this part online real quick, order it up, get it out here. Oh yeah, yeah.